Hello Toy Collector fans, Universal Toy Collector here and welcome to the channel. In today's video, which will be taken over the next few days, I'll be concentrating on creating more display space and storage space, which means I will have to move stuff about and also probably bin some stuff. I'm inviting you, the toy collecting community, to tag along. Alrighty then, so this is what we are dealing with. I've managed to pick myself up another couple of tubs from Hobbycraft, so these will be full of boxed figures. I've also got another couple of shelves, one of which I will definitely be putting up in this video. And these tubs are going to be filled with these. So these are my Black Series figures, um, all boxed up. Um, I don't have all of them, but um, what I want to do is move these into those tubs so then that creates more space under here. This is under the bed, so all these boxed figures here. So I've got some uh, X-Men there as well, and then got some stuff up the end there. But it's predominantly these Black Series figures that I want to um, move. So that will create space for me being able to create space here, which then gives me an opportunity to put some more glass shelves up have more figures displayed here and also that will be the same this side as well not too sure if i'm going to be able to get this lot under the bed we'll just take it a step at a time also if we spin around here move this chair out of the way i have another cupboard under here which eventually i would like to use as display space as well so um yeah so uh, we see how we go with that also, there are lots of figures and boxes up here, um, which is, again, more storage, but I can create space in here. I do have loads of these empty G.I. Joe classified boxes, which I don't really need. I'm just holding on to them for the sake of it. So these will be getting binned. Obviously, I'm going to take all the bits out and put them in a, um, a baggie, but I've got about 30 odd boxes, which will create enough space so I can get some more stuff stored up in this section of the cupboard here. But what I'm going to do now is show you where I'm going to put the next shelf. Which will go here. So I've got some Empire Strikes Back figures that I would like to display. They're Black Series, so I think they look pretty cool there. The other shelf I will be putting over here underneath the Return of the Jedi poster. I'm not going to do that today because that means moving this whole unit here out of the way and all those boxes over the back there, which I don't really want to do, so that can be another video. But yeah, so I'm going to start off by putting the shelf up here. I'm not going to show you guys how good I am at putting shelves up. You guys know that because you've seen previous videos. So what I'll do is I'll get the shelf done up off camera and then I'll uh, show you the figures that I'm going to be putting up there. So uh, I'll come back round in a bit. Righty ho then, so the shelf is up. What I'm going to do now is dive into this um, tub of figures and uh, get the ones out that I'm going to be wanting to display. So this is all my Mandalorian stuff in here and I've got hopefully um, others as well that I want to put up here like yes they are so I've got my bounty hunters so I've got Dengar, uh, Zuckus and Forlom I've even got some G.I. Joe stuff in here as well so yeah there's Bosk and IG-88 so all I need left to find is Boba Fett um, I think this is the Okay, so here he is. Yep, so I've got him in Return of the Jedi version as well. So we want the Empire Strikes Back. So there you go. So that's those figures sorted out. That was easy enough, wasn't it? One day I will have the space to display absolutely everything that is in this uh, tub. Unfortunately, that is not the case at this moment in time. So... Uh, yeah, I have to make do with the space I've got and then try and maximise space as well. What have I done with that lid? Unbelievable. Here it is. Right, okay. So there's that. Okay, so what I'm going to do now then? Get the figures displayed. Alrighty then, so the shelf is up and the figures have been added and I've got to say I'm quite happy with how this is looking. 
So not only do we have the Bounty Hunters from the Empire Strikes Back, we also have the Black Series 40th Anniversary Probot, which is the first time I've opened this. So yeah, really happy with that. I think it looks pretty fantastic. Didn't quite fit on the shelf because of the base, but I've uh, had to improvise. So this is now secure. So all good there. We also have the Black Series 40th Anniversary Luke and Yoda 2-pack. I have two of these. The other one is boxed. So yeah, really happy with how this is looking. The Bounty Hunters are looking pretty cool. Liking those. If there was ever a ball ache of a figure to try and stand up, it is OG-88. I think he's absolutely horrendous. So I've had to use a figure stand um, for him. But overall, yeah, pretty impressed with how these guys are looking. And I certainly think it adds to the display. Georgie's not here, so I'm sure she will be absolutely delighted when she gets home and sees this. I cannot wait for her to get back and say, oh, that looks pretty cool. Anyhow, enough of this. Let's crack in to the um, other room now and sort out under the bed and box up some of those Black Series figures. Okay, so I'm not too sure how many figures I'm going to be able to get in these tubs. Um, these were the biggest ones they had at Hobbycraft. I did want longer ones because I've got a, a few longer ones, but yeah, I'll have to see what we've got here. So um, ones that I, I'm going to keep in here for the time being are going to be these ones here. So these are the original um, black series with the orange um, stripes down the back. I have a few of those. I also have a few of the um, the blue striped ones as well. So these are definitely I'm going to be keeping here for the time being. So I've got Slave Princess Leia as well. So happy with that. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, got an original Boba Fett. So yeah, pretty cool. Happy with that. Um, boxes are a bit beat because these were in the entertainer so I got them for a fairly decent price but we've got a stormtrooper there so again happy with that got chewy so yeah I mean I've got quite a few of these um, first waves of uh, black series TIE fighter pilot again pretty cool um, clone trooper sergeant so yeah that's pretty decent like him uh, this box is battered to buggery, but um, yeah, nonetheless, Obi-Wan Kenobi. I think I picked him up for about eight quid in the Entertainer. This was a few years back. Um, Han Solo Stormtrooper. So it would be nice to try and get Luke Stormtrooper to go with him as well. And then we have the uh, Clone Trooper Captain, which I think looks pretty cool. So yeah, happy with that. So these ones... I'm going to be keeping here for the time being so i'm not, not going to be moving those about um so we've got saw guerrera okay so picked him up for fairly cheap um, i'm probably going to need to keep him as well uh jar jar binks Pfft, jar jar binks isn't it and then i've got uh cal castus from the gaming greats so I, I don't know why i got him to be honest with you but there you go and then we're coming into the exclusives for the line so we've got the gamma Rean guard Okay, absolutely love him. I think he's a fantastic figure. Probably one of the best Black Series figures they've done to date. So yeah, happy with him. And then we move on. We've got um, Clone Commander Wolf. So yeah, he's pretty cool liking him. So again, these exclusives are going to stay here. Clone Commander Gree, like him as well. The thing is, I'm not too sure whether to get these open or to keep these boxed. I mean, because I, I am an inbox collector as well as opening up. So... Some of these are pretty hard to come by. C-3PO. Why they've made him an exclusive, I, I have no idea. But uh, there you are. Um, Four Spirit Obi-Wan Kenobi. I picked this up from Walgreens in the States um, a few years back. So uh, he was part of my haul. So all this stuff here I'm going to be keeping. I've got um, the Inferno Squad Agent. So again, exclusive. Decent looking figure. Let's move him out of the way. Um, who's this? General Veers. Really like him. Again, would love to get another one to open him up. But I, I, I think I've made my mind up. I'm going to keep these boxed. Um, this is Imperial Shock Trooper from uh, Star Wars Battlefront. Again, how cool does he look? I do love these uh, troopers. I think they're pretty, pretty cool. Who's this? So we've got Admiral Pier. Again, another exclusive. Um, 
Zuckus. So already have him opened. So yeah, pretty cool. Another C-3PO from The Rise of Skywalker. Why? Why, why, why did I get him? I have no idea. Um, and Babu Frick as well. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, this one's pretty cool. I like this one. Um, this is Clone Commander Foy. Oh, no, Fox rather. Sorry, you haven't got my glasses. But Clone Commander Fox. Really decent figure. I love that. I think he looks so cool. I do like the clones. I think they look pretty awesome. And then we have the First Order Elite Snowtrooper again. I think he looks decent. Um, just a pity the sequels were pretty rubbish, wasn't it? But, but there you go. Um, so yeah, so now I'm just getting into the um, the main line of the, the figures. Um, uh, I'll start this end. So yeah, so we've got C3, uh, C3PO. Uh, Princess Leia. So I've got her numerous of times, so she's going to be going in the box. I've got the ATA or ATAT pilot. So again, um, I like this one because it's got pilot written on there. So uh, this is number 31. So I'm going to be keeping him here. I'm not really creating much space, am I? <coughs> if I'm honest, but there you go. Uh, ben, so he can go in here as well. Um, the snow trooper, again, I've got the snow trooper. So stick him in here. Emperor's Royal Guard, fantastic looking figure, love these. Um, I do need to get another one of these so I can open up and put on the uh, 40th anniversary display. So I'll uh, be looking out for another one of him, but he can go in there for the time being. Again, Lando Carizian. He's in there. Where is he? Empire Strikes Back Wave, so I've got him already. Uh, Joanna Solo. Quite like her. Pretty cool. So I'm not going to fit many of these in at all, am I? Uh, Clone Captain Rex. Decent figure. Like him, but... Sorry, mate. In you go. And um, Grand Moff Tarkin. So I've already got him open and you can get him for dirt cheap anyways. Next up, we've got Four Lom. So as you've seen in the previous part of the video, already got him. Dengar. Again, already got him. Uh, Princess Leia Hoth. Already got her. So she can go there. Lando Carizian Skiff Guard. Um, I've got him on the 40th anniversary card back. I do need to get another one to open up, but I'm going to keep him boxed. Oh, maybe I can fit a few in here. Uh, Padme Amidala. Again, why I got her, I, I don't know. I mean, to be fair, she's a decent looking figure. So if I do get around to collecting more Attack of the Clones figures. But for the time being, she's relegated to the box. So we've got these first edition um, figures. Again, I picked these up in the States when I was in Florida. I think it was 2019, I believe. So we've got uh, Ray and uh, Dio, again, great. Well, I mean, it's a decent looking figure, but the film. So that's relegated to the box. Um, we've got another Calcastus. Um, yeah, again, fairly looking decent figure, but in you go, son, in you go. And we have the off-world Jawa. So, um, yeah. I, I'm going to keep him um, packaged. Um, I do have a Black Series collection of the Mandalorian figures, but yeah, I'm going to be keeping him packaged, so he can go in there. Um, Luke Skywalker, the Avin Ceremony. Okay, I've got him again already, so he can go in here. Um, oh, Cara Dune, so I'm going to keep her. Um, I, I like her. And this, this figure's fairly expensive now, so I'm thinking about getting this graded, so she can go there. Again, not really created that much space. Uh, Clone Commander Bly, really like him. So he's going to be staying here as well. Uh, Battle Droid Geonosis. Yeah, not a, not a great fan. So in you go there, son. So over here then, we've got some um, uh, Ray Island Journey. No, off you go. Um, Luke Skywalker Jedi Master. we got Ray Jedi training again this is all like prequels uh, sequel stuff so and yeah flame trooper again decent looking figure but in you go who's this Captain Phasma an absolute waste of a character in my opinion 
Uh, first order Stormtrooper. Again, looks pretty cool, but in you go. Um, Ray and BB-8. Yeah, in you go. I think that's going to be it for this tub. So i um, just going to put the lid on. Um, these tubs will probably end up being in someone's loft. It'll either be my mother-in-law's or my mum and dad's. So, uh, yeah, they don't know yet, but um, it'll be a nice surprise for them as well. Right, I'm going to move this one out of the way, get the next tub in, and then talk you through what's left and see how much space we're going to be left with once I put these back in. So, uh, two seconds. All right, then, so we have tub number two. So let's crack on then. We've got Kylo Ren. So he can go in there. Uh, who's this? Oh, God, yeah, definitely Finn. Yeah, off you go, son. No chance of staying here for the time being. Um, then we've got Cassian Andor from Edu. Yeah, I did mind um, Rogue One. I thought it was a fairly decent film. Um, we've got uh, Sergeant Genaso, uh, Jeddah. But she can go in there. So I've got all these anyway, these figures. Um, they, they redid these figures, didn't they? So uh, put them in the new packaging. Harrison Doola. So again, already got her in the new line or the new uh, figures or car backs, should I say? Packaging, whatever you want to call it. Sif Trooper. Again, decent design. Waste of time. Didn't really see much of them and they were pretty, pretty shocking. Um, Maz Kanata, yeah, no chance. Off you go. Elite Praetorian Guard, yep, yeah, again. It's a shame because some of these figures are fairly decent. I don't mind them. Oh, Zori Bliss, I mean, really, why? Why? I, I asked the question. Um, Captain Poe Dameron, again, in you go. Uh, Constable Zuvo, again. Off you go. Oh, Rose Teague, I mean, yeah. I don't even know why I got that figure, to be honest with you. Um, DJ, again, I don't know why I got him. It's just cheap, I guess. Oh, and this one here, why? What on earth was the point of her? Absolute waste of budget and, and oh, Jesus Christ. Anyway, that's uh, Vice Admiral Holdo, so she can Foxtrot Oscar. Here we got again. Why? I don't. Yeah, I mean, I'm. I'm... <sighs> Baze Malbus again. Have him in the new um, new packaging, and last but not least, we have Shrew Imway. Um, I've been talking to um, a friend. Well, I'll tell you, who it was Adam Berry, and um, it, you know, do I move this stuff on? Do I sell it? Or, or, or these bits here, or do I, do I keep them? I, I don't know. I'm so, so torn. He, he's basically like, well, I, I've, got, I've called myself a hoarder. Um, and I'm just like keeping stuff for the sake of keeping it. But I do like the Black Series. I really do. I just don't have the space to, to store them or, or display them all at the moment. So, um, yeah, I, I, I think I will keep hold of these for the time being and um, see where we are uh, a few years down the line. As and when we get a bigger place so um yeah so i've got some um archive there oh this is um um what do you call it marvel so um tebow i mean do i keep these that is the question do i keep these one well, you know keep them do i or um because yeah, i'm thinking about getting these ones again for the card backs because I do like the card backs so uh, for the time being these are going to get put in here so we've got Tebow, Luke Skywalker, Lando, oh or do I? I don't know now. Diddly diddly dee. I'm going to keep Lando. I'm going to keep that. Do you know what? I'm going to keep these ones. I'm going to keep these. So These ones I get, move these on, um, him anyway. Uh, again, I'm so indecisive, I really am. I'm, I'm shocking, absolutely terrible. I will probably 
keep these as well. So, okay, that's tub number two then. I'll put this here for the time being. I might find some other bits to put on here. Um, what I'm gonna do, sort all this out and see how much room I've got left to play with. So, uh, yeah, catch you in a bit, won't be long. Okay then, so there is a fair bit of space left underneath now. I have taken some other boxes out, um, G.I. Joe boxes. I know where I'm gonna be putting those. So I do have some space to play with. So what I'm gonna do is um, empty one of the other cupboards in the other room, create some space in there, put the stuff in here and see where we're at. So um, yeah, I'll jump back round and catch you guys in a bit. Okay then, so I have these Disney Parks um, packs and I've got to say, I really do like these. I think these are pretty cool. So there's no chance that I'll be moving these on. So we've got the um, the Droid Pack from the Droid uh, Depot. You've got C-3PO, R2-D2, BB-8, and DJ-Rex. I'm going to say, I really do like the way these are presented. So these are pretty cool. And hopefully one day I will get um, somewhere or find some space to put those. Um, then we have the, um, which one's this? Oh, yeah, Again, the Droid uh, Depot. So we've got um, K7... R1, CB23, Pit Droid, Babu Frick, and the Battle Droid. Again, really nicely um, presented. I, I do like these. I like these a lot. So, uh, yeah, they're pretty cool. Um, then we have the, uh, the, I believe this is the first order. Yeah, so this is the first order. So you've got the Mountain Trooper, Kylo Ren, Mouse Droid, and uh, Commander Pyre. Again, Loving the, the packaging. I, I think they've done a fantastic job with these. So yeah, pretty cool. Liking those a lot. Um, what else we got? Again, is this the first order? Yep, yeah, first order again. So let's just uh, get this open. So we've got, so we've got an um, first order 8080 driver. I think looks absolutely fantastic. Then we've got the R5 astromech droid, another mouse droid, and General Hux. What a complete numpty he turned out to be. But nonetheless, again, a decent package and, and uh, presentation. So yeah, liking that, that can go there. Um, we have the um, Smuggler's Run resistance pack. Again, pretty cool. So we've got Hondo and Naka, um, Porgs. I mean, why? Why put Porgs in there? Let's ruin this set. You've got Ray Batu and Chewie. Um, apart from the Porgs, a decent looking set. Really liking that. Uh, what else do we have? We have the uh, the Beast Pack. So again, you've got a Minoc, more Porgs, because you can never have enough Porgs. A Boglin. God knows what that is. And then you've got the uh, Kowakian Monkey Lizards. Um, some people might recognise these as Salacious Rum and Pili Yum Yum. So, yeah. But again, liking the packaging, pretty cool. So they also can uh, go in here. So again, added those to the... Uh... Oh yeah, so I've got this um, 86, Transformers 80, uh, Studios 86, uh, Coronation Starscream. Love this, absolutely love this. I will get it out on display at some point. So he can just uh, go here for the time being. Just add some, some foot plates down there and stand, take down the back. But yeah, so again, I've still got a fair bit of room, so um, I'm just going to go find some other bits and chuck them in here. So, uh, yeah, give us a minute. All right, then, so what I've got now, I've got some more Marvel Legends. So I've got Star Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I have no idea why I picked this up, just saw him and thought, like him and bought him. So, um, yeah, I don't know why. Probably end up getting rid of him at some point. Yeah, so he can go there. No, that's going to be too, too tall, isn't it? Ugly doodle do. Is it going to be the same for... I've got the 80th anniversary Wolverine as well. So I have had him on display at some point. But um, none of my Marvel's on display at the moment. So he can go in here as well. And that's not going to fit like that, is it? So leave those out for the time being. Um, I've got the 80th anniversary Wolverine and Hulk 2-pack. Fantastic. Really love this. If I had the space, these would be out on display. Um... So again, I'm trying to create more space so I can display stuff, but uh, I, I do have like priorities. Um, Star Wars, G.I. Joe, DC Multiverse, they take up the, the bulk of my collection, as do um, uh, Motu. So um, yeah, one day I will get some uh, 
more um, Marvel out on display. Then I have this Kylo Ren set here. Again, I quite like it. It's fairly decent. Quite like that. But uh, prequels, not prequels, sequels, should I say. Not the greatest. So um kind of clouds my judgment, really. So that can sit in here for the time being. And then hopefully this will squeeze down here. It will. Marvellous. And then we have um, the Legends, Marvel Legends, um, Marvel Studios, Captain America and Peggy Carter. Again, I've had this out on display, but nowhere to put it at the moment. So this will sit there for the time being. These two uh, will sit if they can fit. Yeah, they will. Yeah, down there. Right, let's see what else I've got. Two seconds. Okay then, so if I'm honest, I don't think there's too much more I'm gonna be able to fit under there. Um, so I'm pretty much done with this section of the uh, moving stuff about. What I'm gonna do now is turn my attention to another cupboard and uh, throw some empty boxes away. So let's get a crack in. Okay then, so as you can see, it's a little bit of a mess in here, but it won't be like that for too much longer. So, um, but what I've basically done is Managed to free that space up there, so that's pretty cool. Not quite um, freed that space up at the moment, but what I'm hoping is by moving some of this stuff out in the top here, getting rid of these empty boxes, bin in those, that should uh, give me um, some more space to be able to store some other bits and bobs, and then hopefully have those two spaces down here free so I can put more display in at least. I mean, if I've got to keep this for the time being as a um, storage uh, unit, then that is fine by me. I've gained some uh, more display space there, which is predominantly what I'm trying to do. So, um, yeah, without further ado, let's crack on, get some of this stuff bin, shall we? Okay, then, so I'm going to start emptying this and, uh, yeah, see where we go. So, already, two empty boxes, don't need them. Take the stuff out and uh, get these bins. So I'll just put these down here. So I've got some more bits. It's predominantly everything this side, where all the empty boxes are. So I've got the um, Lego X-Wing. Let me just put that down there for the time being. Not too sure how much space I'm going to gain from uh, from doing this, but uh, we shall see. What the hell is this? Oh yeah, okay, so it's another um, vintage collection, three pack or four pack. So I've got my um, sneak preview stack, which I need to display, Beastman. Put that there. So I've got this 40th anniversary Motu Beastman, love that. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna keep this packaged. I think this is fantastic, really like that. So, yeah, pretty cool. And I would love to get this displayed. So this is the um, escape pod from the, um, where is it? Yeah, the escape pod from the Star Tours ride. Not Star Tours, what am I talking about? Um, Rise of the Resistance, uh, brilliant. Um, but I don't have any um, sequel stuff on display at the moment, so. I'm kind of reluctant to open this up and put it on display. I think it looked great because I've got some uh, five POA First Order Stormtroopers, which would look pretty cool around this. But um, we'll see. We'll see how that pans out. But yeah, look, I've got all this up here. My God, loads of it. Wowzers. So who's this? Lady J. So again, going to be being in that. Uh, do I need this? Um, the ram cycle, don't need the box, so that's gonna get binned. I've got this Captain America and bike, never been displayed. That should have gone under the bed, if I'm honest, so I might go and chuck that in there in a minute. So I'll put this over here out of the way. And again, look, just more, more empty boxes. So, yeah. empties oh my god so i've got quite a bit of space up here um it's, it's incredible how much space there is 
So I've got um, timber there and the commando snake eyes. So don't really need this box, so I'll take him out and uh, yeah, unbelievable. What else? Yes, yeah, more empty boxes. So there's quite a bit of stuff here that's gonna get binned. So I'm gonna keep these obviously, um, vintage collection, love the boxes for the vintage collection. So that's gonna get kept as is the, uh, this. as is the uh, Tantive uh, full corridor. So yeah, pretty cool. Got some more bits up here, empty boxes. Bit of a reach to try and get them. There you go. So this one's actually got a figure in it. So obviously not going to bin that, am I? Bin. Bin and bin. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do then is get all this put in recycling and uh, have a little play around and I'll come back to you once I've got this cupboard sorted. So, uh, I would say give us two seconds, but it's going to take a little bit longer than that. So uh, be back in a minute or two. Okay, then. So a few hours later, four bin bags worth of rubbish later. Um, two tubs full here of um, odds and sods, mainly black series. But I think mission complete. So I have space here to extend the display, which I'm really happy about. And I have space here to extend the display, which I, again, really happy about. So this will mean a trip to Ikea to get some more glass shelves for these um, two units. Um, so I'll have to do that another day. So like I said, this video will be rolling on over a few days. So these doors are going to have to come off. So I'll get that done at some point as well. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to admit defeat um, with this unit here. This will have to stay as a um, storage unit for the time being. I've got so many figures in there that I would like to get out and display um, but, you know, hopefully once I now get these two units in action, that will give me some more space to free up in there. But yeah, pretty happy with that. Up here is chocker block. Um, I've managed to get everything here. Um, so this here, a gift from um, Gary Moore. I will need to display that at some point. So um, that's going to be there for the time being. But yeah. These figures here, I'm going to get on display as well at some point. Um, I've got a um, classified uh, deluxe edition of Snake Eyes there, which I'd love to get on the display, but I've just got nowhere to put him yet. So hopefully he can get added to over here. Anyhow, that is going to do for this part of the video. Um, yeah, stay tuned. I'll uh, carry on filming and uh, we'll crack on with getting the display sorted and uh, see where we go. But um, for the time being, see you in the next part of the video. Alrighty then, so cracking on with the video, I've um, taken the doors off as you can see and put some glass shelves in, I picked those up yesterday, so really happy with the fact now I do have more space to display the collection. So this side here is fairly straightforward, I'm going to be putting Joe Joe Classified there, so I will need to however go through this lot and resort that out, which shouldn't be an issue. So yeah, happy to do that, not a, not a problem there. So that's this space sorted out here. This space, however, I'm undecided. Do I stick with three and three quarter inch or do I show some love to the six inch black series? Now I do have a vehicle that I picked up from Galaxy's Edge a couple of years ago that I would love to display. It's boxed at the moment. So um, I've not managed to find a space to display. It. Here would be perfect. But what it would mean is I would have to display some five POA sequel figures to go with it. And um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I need to decide on that. But if, while I'm deciding on that, I'm going to concentrate on this. So this is what I'm going to put here. So back in 2020, I managed to pick this up. And this is the Deluxe Snake Eyes. This is just the top of the box. Um, absolutely fantastic. Loving that. This was one of my first major pickups uh, to start me back into proper collecting and my first step into G.I. Joe Classified. And then you have this awesome picture here as well, which I think is absolutely fantastic, liking that. 
But then the figure itself, this deluxe figure, I just think this is tremendous. I absolutely love this. And ever since I've had it, I've not managed to find a uh, place to display it. So this will be displayed. I've got all the um, weapons in there and stuff like that. I'm going to display as is, really liking that. So a fantastic piece. So looking forward to getting that on display. Then I'm going to be displaying these. And yeah, these are the first wave of figures for G.I. Joe Classified. The looks and design were based on a um, video game, which wasn't very successful. And, and I'm kind of glad, really, because these are woeful. But over time, I've kind of grown to appreciate them. And that's simply because um, Hasbro have done a fantastic job, or are doing a fantastic job, shall I say, with their G.I. Joe classified line. So I want these out as a reminder as to how bad they were and how much they've improved. But I kind of like them. I've got a soft spot for them now. So there's Roadblock, Scarlet, Duke, and um, Snake Eyes. And then over here, these have been um, not taken out of the box. So you've got the repaint of Scarlet and the repaint of Roadblock. They're still pretty awful, I've got to say. So I'm going to get them in display, but I'll leave those in the box. We have the... Oh, here we go. What's, what's going on here? Apologise for that. We've got the Cobra Island um, Cobra Trooper. I think he's fairly decent, so I'm going to display him as well. Just move him out of the way. Then we have the Alley Viper. He was on display, but then I put him back. In the box so i'm going to get them on display again and then we have this um variant cobra commander which again hasn't been opened so liking that and uh yeah i will going to keep them in the box and display them as is so what i'm going to do is i'm going to have a little play and get all this lot displayed and then um show you guys um so yeah i'll see you in a bit Alrighty then, so this is where I'm at at the time being, and I've got to say, I'm quite happy with how this is displayed. I'm liking the look at that. As bad as these figures are, I do think they display quite nicely. So you've got the main centrepiece at the back there, which is um, Snake Eyes, the deluxe version. And then you've got the um, boxed Scarlet and Roadblock, uh, the repaints. Uh, they did do a repaint of Duke, but I never managed to get him. Um, so what I've done um, with this Snake Eyes here, he's a terrible figure by the way. Absolutely terrible. The the top um, torso is so loose. It's incredible. He, you know, it's really difficult to stand him up. So um, I've managed to pose him for the time being. But then I've given him the um, timber from the uh, Snake Eyes and Timber 2-pack. Uh, the Commando version. But yeah, overall, really happy with how this is looking. I've got to say, not too bad. And then if I pan up, I've got Cobra Commander... The variant version in the back there, um, in the box, with um, Cobra Commander at the front. I've moved the Cobra Officer down, along with Storm Shadow. And then you've got the uh, Trouble Bubble with the Tele Viper there. And the Cobra Ferret with the Cobra Scout. And I've got to say, really happy with how this is looking. Move up, not much change here then. So you've got the um, Hiss Tank. So yeah, really happy with that. Still undecided as to whether or not I want to display the figures or keep them in the box and uh, carded. Well, the Cobra Commander is certainly staying carded. Then I've moved the Cobra Island Cobra Trooper to the front there. And I've got to say, I love the design of these Cobra Troopers. I think they look absolutely fantastic. But like I said before, give them decent weapons. I mean, they do look pretty atrocious, don't they? But um, yeah, they look fantastic. I love the design. It's just the weapons are a letdown. So there's that bit there, and then here is a little bit more spaced out. I do have more figures to open. Um, there's some that I've not even unboxed yet. Um, I've, th I've got one of the Dreadnoughts um, Ripper, so he's going to go with these guys here. And I do have the updated version of Firefly as well, uh, which is still in a parcel that I've not unboxed. And then we've got the G.I. Joe dudes here. No real change, so yeah. So fairly happy with that, liking the way it's looking. Um, yeah, so Timber come with this version of Snake Eyes. But as he was a commando, then he didn't have Timber until he was like a ninja. So there you are. And uh, yeah, here's my original G.I. Joe stuff. So happy with that. Very modest um, uh, collection there. But um, I'm okay with that. It's looking pretty cool. Then there's my whale. Which is a... 
a restoration job that was back in 2020 so yeah really happy with that looking great and then at the top then we've got the um action force sky striker with the gi joe haslab sky striker so yeah awesome looking vehicles liking that right okay so what i need to do now then is come down here and decide what i want to do in regards to figures whether it's going to be six inch let's just pan out six inch or three and three quarter inch so um yeah right give us two seconds and uh i'll see what i come up with okay then so what i've decided to do then is to give my star wars black series some love so i'm going to be displaying my rebels figures my rogue one figures and my solo figures so yeah there we go so you've got the um rebels figures there and then you've got the solo and the rogue one figures in there so what i'm going to do is have a little play around get it all set up and show you the finished article be back in a minute okay so here we go then and this is this section filled out with the black series uh, figures and i've got to say i forgot how well these figures do actually display so yeah really happy with how these are looking so as you can see we have solo on the bottom shelf there not the greatest film i have to admit but a fun film i guess but the figures look great um you know can't complain at the figures i think they look pretty cool i'm not too sure how many more figures i need to um fill this section out but uh i'm happy with how it is at the moment then if we pan up we have rogue one so yeah really happy with these so i recently um got k2so at the um, sandown toy fair so i've opened him up off camera and chucked him in and he was the figure that was missing to uh finish this team off so yeah really happy with that and again these do display really well over here we have director krennic um it's an older face sculpt so uh, not too happy with that that needs updating not the greatest is it but what i might do is get another couple of uh death troopers just to fill that little uh section out there we have a stormtrooper at the back he should have an aerial on the backpack but um it keeps bending it won't fit under the uh, shelf properly so i've taken it off to stop it from getting damaged then moving up we have rebels now when i displayed these first time round, i was really impressed with the colors the vibrance of the, the figures and stuff like that and yeah really liking those i think they display so well what i wouldn't mind doing is probably getting another couple of stormtroopers just to flank um um what's his name uh grand admiral thrawn at the back there and then we have ahsoka over the back so yeah i mean all in all really happy with how this has panned out so um i'm not too sure whether i'm going to keep these here or leave them here for the time being you know i'm like i chop and change my mind every five minutes but what i'm going to do is uh, get up and show you what i've done from afar so there you go this is my star wars section so yeah really happy with that oh my back is killing me i'm too old for this so yeah, all my um, TVC figures there. So just waiting for a certain someone to turn up and he will be displayed there. But I've already showed you this. So yeah, really happy with um, how the G.I. Joe classified are displayed. I mean, look, as regards to these, I know there are better figures that I could display that I uh, that I have. But um, I, you know, I'm quite happy with how that's looking at the moment. So yeah, I'm going to pretty much leave that. And then what I've got to do next is sort out this Batman DC section. Um, yeah, I need to rearrange that. That will probably uh, probably be another video. Because I think if I crack on with this, I think it's going to be the world's longest video. And I don't really want that. Um, we'll see. We'll see. But what I need to do is find somewhere to display A, those three comics, these three figures here. And that one there so yeah um, stay tuned like I say I might um, include that in this video not 100% sure but we'll see so I'm not going to do an ending just yet if I do decide to finish the video then I'll come back and do a proper ending right ho then so yesterday I was undecided as to whether to carry the video one I will do um, I put these Rogue One figures out yesterday and I totally forgot about Saw Gerrera so there he is in the back there, looking pretty cool. Decent looking figure. So yeah, happy about that. But overall, I've got to say, really impressed with how these um, 
Black Series figures are looking. So I've got plans for them again in the future, but I'm, I'll, I'll um, explain that in a little bit. But let's move over to here then. So I've rejigged my Batman um, display, DC display. There you can see the Michael Keaton Batman from The Flash that was kindly gifted to me by Kieran Ball. So he's in with the movie section um, Batman um, figures. So yeah, happy with that. And then we've got the animated series in there. That's not changed at all. Neither has the Batman 66. But here's where the change begins. So here we have three Jokers. And yeah, fantastic. So I've got the sketch edition in the back there. Um, I managed to get myself issue one or book one of the three Jokers. Kim and Ball kindly gifted me um, book two and book three of the um, Batman Three Jokers. And that is looking absolutely tremendous. I am so happy with that. What a fantastic looking display. I've, I've got to say, I'm really happy with that, how that's turned out. Kim and Ball, thank you so much, my friend. Absolutely quality. And then we've got more changes here. So I had the Batman Killing Joke storyline here. But because I've moved stuff about, I've added the Rebirth figures here with Clayface and Man Bat. And then Lex Luthor there in the power suit and Batman. Again, these two figures here were gifted to me by the generous Kieran Ball. So once again, really happy with how that display is looking. So yeah over the moon then we move up so I've got my um, Harley Quinn section there but I've had to add a couple of jokers to the display there but I don't mind that Joker and Harley Quinn go together don't they so pretty cool and then up the top we've got um, I think it's the Dark Knight storyline there um, correct me if I'm wrong not too sure which storyline this Batman uh, this Joker's from should I say without looking and then again, we have another couple of figures kindly gifted to me by Kim and Ball, which is Batman and the Hush villain. So yeah, really happy with that. So panning back, I've got to say, let's just pew, come back. I'm absolutely over the moon with how this display is looking. Really, really delighted. So yeah, happy with this. I don't know how many more times I'm going to say I'm happy, but, but there you go. But what I have... Um, got in mind is future plans for this cupboard here I'm going to get another um, a tub empty the contents into that tub there move the six inch black fi uh, series figures from down here over to here and then put some more three and three quarter inch figures in there so that will be at a future date so um, maybe next month or the month after not too sure Right, so I was planning on ending the video right here, right now, but I've had two parcels turn up. So this one here is from Gary Moore. So I will explain a little bit more about that one um, when I get to open it in a second. And this one here is a gift box from my friend Gojitron. So yeah, he messaged me out the blue and said, oh, by the way, there's a parcel in way to you. I knew nothing about it. And um, this arrived today. So I'm going to get these parcels open as well. So Two seconds, and we'll get them open. Alrighty then, so I'm going to crack open the parcel from Gary Moore first, because I know exactly what's inside. So cast your minds back a few months ago, when both Gary and Andy from Hollow Chronicles did an auction live stream. There was an item on there that I wanted, but I didn't bid for at the time. Um, when the auction was over, I did message Gary and say, is that item still available? He said yes, so I said, could you please put it by for me? And... Um, can I pay it later date? To which he said yes. And here we are. Bob's your uncle, Sally's your aunt. I'm going to get this open. So I know Gary delights in me struggling to get boxes open. So he's he's taped this up pretty well. So but I just want to be extra, extra careful with this. Because like I say, I know it's inside. And uh, yeah, we'll just get into it. There you go. I do need a new uh, knife. So I'll be getting one of those soon the blade is rusted to buggery on that but uh, what can you do oh, get a new knife so here we go open this up he's packed it very well oh hello what's he done here oh okay right sorry i thought you sent me some golf stuff but that's just to pad it out what a donut so there we go right let's just get rid of the box 
Let's get rid of the padding. Get rid of the, uh, the golf boxes there. And yeah, here it is. I'm just going to be extra, extra careful with this because I do not want it scratched, ruined or anything like that. So it will probably take me a while to get into it. Oh, well, maybe not. Not too bad. Oh, look at this. Oh, ha, ha, ha. oh this is incredible. Absolutely incredible. So there you go. Two seconds and I'll, I'll get it um, close up. So here we have the Star Wars Empire Strikes Back Int 4 Interceptor in the packaging. And I am absolutely beaming. Made up. This was my favourite mini rig as a kid. For some reason, I don't know why, I just really loved it. And I think it looks so cool. I have one loose on display, but this is going to be staying in the box. Just look at that. An awesome image. I remember the image so well. That is absolutely fantastic. Loving that. The Kenner logo there. Just made up. And in here, you have all the different mini rigs um, in the range. You have the Cap 2, which I have. The Int 4. Um, the MTV 7. Again, I have that. I think that's the MLC 3, which I also have. And the PDT 8, which I also have. But yeah, the look at this. Just incredible. Oh, I'm loving that. Loving that. And you've got like a little uh, offer sticker here. Oh, just incredible. Gary, thank you so much, mate, for putting this by for me. Um, I really do uh, appreciate it. Um, yeah, absolutely beaming. I need to find somewhere to display that. I won't be moving the whole of my display around just to accommodate this. I will find somewhere to put this. At some point, I would love to get an acrylic case for this because I just think... Um, Figures on car backs or in boxes look incredible um, in acrylic cases. So that's what I'll be aiming to get at some point this year. But yeah, Gary, thank you so much, mate. Um, Andy as well. Um, you guys did a fantastic job with your auction live stream. And uh, looking forward to the next one if you if you do hold another one. So I'll be certainly interested. But yeah, absolutely beaming. Made up. Thank you so much. Right, okay. So let's crack on to the next parcel then. I have absolutely no idea what's inside it. So let's get it up and have a look. All righty then. So last year, Goji sent me a gift parcel, um, which unfortunately got really badly damaged in the post. So when he sent this one, he said, I hope it arrives in a better condition. It is in better condition, but it has still been squashed, unfortunately, and the box ripped here. So yeah. I don't know what to say, mate. So keeping fingers crossed that all the bits and bobs inside are okay and not too damaged. So we'll have a look. But I, again, I have absolutely no idea what's inside. I mean, I didn't even know this was coming until literally, I think, towards the end of last week when Goji sent me a message. So uh, let's just... Oh, what's going on here? Okay, so there we go. Oh, there is a letter inside. Am I going to need my glasses? No. Hello, Stu and Georgie. Just wanted to compliment you both on what a fantastic job you did with the Give Kids the World charity event. The number of friends that turned out to help and the amount of money raised is a fantastic achievement. Well done. <coughs> so I'm not. Uh, yeah, I had a little tickle in my throat. Thanks for including me, and you can count me on. Um, and you can count on my support in any future events. Stu, please find and close something that I offered you uh, some time ago, along with a few extras. I've also included some bits for Georgie's collection as well. Take care and best wishes, Carl, aka Goji. Uh, well, thank you so much. I, you know, really do appreciate that. And, and I, I, you know, I, I've said it before as well. Testament to you, um, uh, the toy collecting community, for 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 buying into the uh, the charity event and for taking part. Because again, without you guys. We wouldn't have been able to raise the amount of money we did. Yeah, so once again, guys, thank you so much. And Goji, thank you so much as well. So, yeah, Goji did say something um, a while back. So about... Oh, so I've found something for Georgie. So I'm going to put this aside. And Georgie can open that later. So, right, I'm going to take everything out. And then what I'm going to do is have a proper look. Oh, this is for Georgie as well. So let's just move that to the side. 
Goji, you are too generous, my friend. Thank you so much. Um, oh, okay, so there's bits in there as well. And... Cool, that's a little bit weighty. Right, and there's something there as well. Okay, so let's just... I'm making a white pig's ear of this. Okay, so let's just open this one first. Oh, wow. Okay, this is pretty cool. Oh, if I can open no, hang on, I'm gonna need a, a little bit of help. There we go. Wow. Again, making something look so easy, look so difficult. Look at these. Star Wars Adventures. Oh wow, these are cool. Oh, look at the artwork on those. The covers look fantastic. So we've got issues one and two. I'm liking that a lot. And then we have um, True Believers, the droids. First of April. Wow. Thank you so much, Goji. These are cool. <laughs> True Adventures, Ewoks. Brilliant. Liking that. Oh, thank you so much. He's like, oh, oh my God. Gosh. Oh, Goji, you shouldn't have done. Mate, seriously. Thank you so much. And this is really ironic because I've literally just um redone the um the display. And uh mad love. I have the two figures for that as well. Oh my life. Oh, look at this. Look at the buns on that as well. Terrific. I do like a bit of Harley Quinn. But, oh, Goji, 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 thank you so much. Oh, look at the clay face. Oh. oh, thank you so much. I am loving this. Thank you so much. This will be put in the display as well, so I'm going to go and do that in a minute. Oh, <laughs> proper made up. Thank you so much, Goji. Let's just move these out of the way then for the time being. Right, what else have you got? Oh, okay. Yes, I remember now. Oh, this is Orco. Oh, how cool is that? And he is in great condition as well. And you've got the, the rip thing as well. I'm not going to try that at the moment, but oh, brilliant stuff. Thank you so much. Again, he's going to go in the display. Oh, Goji, thank you so much, my friend. That is incredible. Brilliant. Really liking him. Fantastic stuff, thank you. And I'll just put this to the side. And what are we here? Oh, these are little, um, what are these? You're going to have to forgive me, Goji. I have absolutely no ideas what these are. Or no idea, should I say. Oh, hang on, Harley Quinn. That's Batgirl. Oh, and that's going to be, that's going to be Clayface. Oh, these are like little mini, mini figures. Well, obviously they're minifigures because they're small, but yeah, liking that he won't stand up or she won't stand up. And then what else? Oh, these are brilliant. Again, I, I have no idea what this line is, Goji, so... Oh. Thank you so much. These are so cool. These are really cool. I'm liking these a lot. Brilliant. And then, oh, we've got, we've got another two. Let's just move this out of the way. This is going to turn into the longest video in the world. I do apologise. Our oh, Batman, Catwoman, our oh, Poison Ivy. <laughs> these are fantastic. I really like these. She won't stand up. Never mind. Move that one out of the way as well. Oh, oh, that's the that's the penguin there. So I'm liking him. Who's this? I don't know who that is. Not too sure who he is. Ah, well, that's obvious. That's the Riddler. So, yeah, brilliant stuff. Thank you so much. Right, I'm just going to tidy this up, get everything up front, and then see the video out. So, two seconds. All righty then. So, it is time for me to bring this video to an end. What started out with me condensing space for storage to acquire more space for display. Well, I think it turned out quite well. Really happy with how things have panned out. 
I've managed to get myself two units um, more of um, display space. I was hoping for a third, but couldn't quite manage it this time around. But I do have plans for that in the future. So that will be a video for down the line. Then over the last couple of days, I received a couple of parcels, one from Gary Moore, one from Goji. So I thought I'd incorporate those two unboxings into this video. So from Gary Moore then, the Int4 or the Interceptor, the Star Wars mini rig from The Empire Strikes Back. This was purchased from Gary and Andy from their um, um, auction live stream that they did a little while back. So yeah, absolutely fantastic. And the reason it took so long to get over here was because Gary kindly decided to bring it with him because he's visiting the UK. So then he posted it whilst in the UK, which was a lot quicker and a lot cheaper. So fantastic stuff, Gary. Thank you so much. And then from out of nowhere, well, not necessarily nowhere. It was from the USA, from my friend Goji. This awesome gift packet um, or gift parcel, should I say. I, again, Goji, thank you so much. Your generosity is, um, yeah, it's, it's too much, mate. I, I really do appreciate it. So we have an original Masters of the Universe Orco there with the rip tie there. That, that's fantastic. We have this awesome, awesome Mad Love um, story here. Uh, comic loving that that is going to look absolutely tremendous in the display so yeah really happy with that we've got these fantastic little mini figures not too sure what the correct term or the make of these um are um so goji if you could leave a comment in the uh comment section let me know what these ones are um i'd be most grateful and then we have these four fantastic comic books at the back as well we've got star wars ewoks uh droids and star wars adventures um issues one and two so yeah Really, really pleased with that. Not forgetting, Goji also sent a little something for George as well, which I shall pass on to her when she gets back from work later on this evening. So anyhow, I think that is in it for me, should I say. Um, so all I've got left to say is if you're new to the channel, feel free to comment, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell to let you know of more content. And as always, there will be more content. Appreciate you watching very much appreciate your support thank you so much it does mean a lot as does the generosity um, within the toy community thank you um I, I i get very um what's the word overwhelmed sometimes um by the friendships that i've made and the generosity of the people in this toy community so once again a huge thank you it does genuinely mean a lot anyhow take care stay safe and we shall see you in the next video bye for now